Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Justin and let's talk about finding values that makes a rational expression undefined. So, kailan lang magiging undefined ng isang rational expression? Pag nag-substitute tayo ng value sa variable na magiging zero yung denominator natin. So, ina-avoid natin yung mangyari. So, let's have this example and let's identify the value of the variable that will make this rational expression undefined. So, yung first step natin is for us to copy our denominator. Kasi yun yung focus ng ating topic, yung denominator. And we will equate it to zero. So, bakit zero yung ating um, i-equate dito sa denominator? Kasi ito yung value na ina-avoid natin na maging equal yung ating denominator. Now, let's transfer and solve for the value of x. Okay, so let's solve for the value of x. So transfer natin si negative 3 sa kabilang side. Change the sign. That will give us the value of x which is 3. Now, pag sinubstitute natin si 3 dito sa ating denominator, okay, 3 minus 3, that will give us 0. So yung 0 na yun, okay, yun yung ina-avoid natin. So nalaman na natin yung value ng variable that will make it undefined. So, to conclude, the expression 3x squared plus 5 all over x minus 3 is undefined if x is equal to 3. And that's it! Ta-da! Alright, let's have our second example. Let's find the value of the variable that will make this expression m minus 6 all over m squared plus 2m undefined. So, Ang focus natin dito will be the denominator. Let's equate our denominator to 0. Now, let's solve for the value of m. Now, dito, may, makikita natin na we can factor m squared plus 2m using common monomial factoring. So, ang common factor nila is m. Tapos, let's divide each term by m. So, makukuha natin is m plus 2. And that will be our factor for this polynomial. Now, this is equal to 0. Tapos, pag natapos na nating i-factor yung ating denominator, ang susunod nating step, we will equate each factor to 0. So, si m, equate natin to 0. m plus 2, equate natin to 0. Now, let's solve for the value of m. So, yung first m natin, okay, it is equal to 0. So, nakuha na natin. Yung isang m naman natin, or Yung isang factor natin, we have m plus 2 is equal to 0. Transfer natin si 2 to the other side of the equation. Changing the sign, that will give us negative 2. So, meron tayong dalawang value of m dito. Isang 0 at isang negative 2. Now, paano malalaman kung ilang m yung makukuha natin? It will depend dun sa ating highest exponent dun sa ating denominator. So, the highest exponent of our denominator is 2. So, expect natin na yung variables natin will have two values. Okay? So, isang 0 at isang negative 2. Now, let's conclude. The expression m minus 6 all over m squared plus 2m is undefined if m is equal to 0 or negative 2. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Let's find the value of the variable that will make this rational expression y plus 9 all over y squared minus 9 undefined. So, para masagutan natin to, ang first step natin is to equate our denominator to 0. So, y squared minus 9 is equal to 0. Then, let's solve for the value of y. So, y squared minus 9, pwede natin siyang i-factor. So, i-factor natin siya. So, isang y plus 3 and isang y minus 3. And they are still equal to 0. Then, after nating makuha yung ating factor ng ating denominator, our next step is to equate each factor to 0. So, isang y plus 3 is equal to 0, y minus 3 is equal to 0. Then, let's solve for the value of y. So, solve muna natin tong first equation natin. Lipat natin si positive 3 sa kabilang side. Change the sign that will give us negative 3. Ayan. Now, yung second equation natin, lipat natin si negative 3 sa kabilang side. Tapos, change the sign. That will give us positive 3. So, meron tayong dalawang value ng ating variable y. 
we have negative 3 and positive 3. So to write our conclusion, the value that will make our rational expression undefined is if y is equal to negative 3 or positive 3. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Okay. Let's find the value of the variable that will make this rational expression 8x minus 4 all over x squared minus 9x plus 20 undefined. So, for our first step, we're going to copy our denominator and equate it to 0. So, we will have x squared minus 9x plus 20 is equal to 0. Then, let's solve for the value of x. Now, to solve for the value of x, try natin i-factor itong quadratic trinomial. So, let's um, so let's apply quadratic trinomial case number 1, factoring. So, yung factor na to magiging x minus 4 and x minus 5. And they are still equal to 0. Now, pag natapos na tayo mag-factor, ang susunod nating step is for us to equate each factor to 0. So, x minus 4 is equal to 0. x minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, next, let's solve for the value of x of each equation. So, simulan natin dito sa first equation natin. Lipat natin si negative 4 sa kabilang side. Changing the sign, that will give us x is equal to positive 4. Sa kabila namang equation, lipat natin si negative 5 sa kabilang side ng ating equation. Changing the sign, giving us the value of x which is positive 5. Ayan. So, dalawang value of x tayo. Meron tayong 4 at meron tayong 5. And to conclude, our expression 8x minus 4 all over x squared minus 9x plus 20 will be undefined if x is equal to 4 or 5. And that's it! Ta-da! Alright! Okay, let's find the value of the variable that will make this rational expression x squared minus 2x minus 48 all over x squared plus 4x minus 21 undefined. So, ang first step natin dito is kopyahin natin yung ating denominator and equate it to 0. Okay? Tapos, let's solve for the value of x. So, to solve for the value of x, try natin i-factor yung ating denominator. So, yung ating denominator, may factor siya na x plus 7 at isang x minus 3. And they are all equal to 0. Tapos, pagka na-factor na natin yung ating polynomial, let's equate each factor to 0. So, meron tayong x plus 7 is equal to 0. Meron tayong x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, let's solve for the value of x for each equation. So, x plus 7 is equal to 0. Let's transfer positive 7 to the other side. Changing the sign, we will have negative 7. Okay. Yung kabila naman, si negative 3, ilipat natin sa kabilang side. Changing the sign, that will give us positive 3. Now, we have two values of x. We have negative 7 at positive 3. So, to conclude the expression, x squared minus 2x minus 48 all over x squared plus 4x minus 21 will be undefined if x is equal to negative 7 or positive 3. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. And that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments, questions, recommendations, suggestions for my next video, please leave them in our comment section below. Share this video and subscribe. And for more videos like this, you can go to my channel, Teacher Justin. And that is it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.